Welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps spread the word and helps make more of these videos possible. If you like this video even more, you can make a recurring donation via Patreon or a one-time donation via Coffee. The links are all in the description below. Enjoy the video. Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Okay, this video is super, super late. I was supposed to do this video. Um, I got this around Christmas. This was a gift from Laura and i was supposed to do this ages ago and i have just been distracted by all sorts of stuff and i just wanted to make sure that this got done um so let's get started um let's see here uh once again this is a new wedding ring that i got for my wife for our 10th anniversary and i'm still getting used to it so um if i bang the table or anything like that i do apologize for that um and also i will be trying to go live um on tomorrow friday which may be today friday at 1 30 p.m i think is was what i said i think it's 1 30 p.m and that's today friday or tomorrow friday depending on um, what it is friday the 14th um because my birthday is september the 16th so i'm gonna go which is sunday so i'm gonna go live before that um to celebrate my birthday and we'll do some more coloring um finish up a page that we've been working on for a while anyway so um this coloring book is called fairy tales and um it is a really fun it's not um it's not an american book but it's really fun and i have really liked it and i wanted to get it to get started with it but i wanted to um to show you guys the book first now my friend laura who sent this to me has done amazing work with this book um she's used like watercolor in the background and she's done great stuff with the fur on the animals um and i really like this one because it will give me a chance to practice more on my fur in terms of both coloring and um drawing some of this fur um, which is really uh, a challenge. This book has a very whimsical sort of style. There's um, there's some fine detail, but it's mostly a lot of detail as opposed to really fine, minute detail if that makes any sense. Um, and it's one of those books that looks like it should be actually fairly quick to get through. Um, and it's also a book that makes me really want to get out my markers. Um, and I don't really play with markers all that often. Um, but this book makes me feel like if I use my markers, I could be, you know, done in and done in a book, in a page in just a day or so, like super fast on a page. Um, but I probably would do like, you know, the background or the details and markers and maybe go in and fill everything in, in colored pencil or something like that. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. Um so there's that and so it has various fairy tales now some of these fairy tales i i must admit that i'm struggling to figure out what they are however um other fairy tales i can kind of um i can kind of get fairly quickly let's see here all right let's skip the page oh as for the paper this is a fairly thick paper um it's a little bit on the smoother side so we'll see but i but i'm sure from the work that i've seen and i'll give you a link to laura's instagram page um you know i'll i'll show you um from her instagram page some of the work that she's done in this book like this book is one of those i definitely want to do this because i still am struggling on how to do my gems so this is one of those pages that I really want to work on and it'll give me a chance to practice on the fur a little bit. Um, so this is one of those books that takes a lot of mediums. It is double sided and it does have no perforation, um, but it does also do a really good job of not getting too much into the binding for most of the pages. There's a couple of pages where it does that, but it's not, I've definitely seen worse. Um, so for the most part it's doable it's very sorry about that it's a very fun whimsical style um as you can see and there's a lot of um there's a lot of things you can do with these what she did was um she used uh, i think it is um a paint pen like a I forgot the name of the brand, but they, there's a paint pen where you can use like acrylic paint, but it's in the form of a pen. Um, and she did that for her backgrounds and then she did, um, and then she did, 
you know things in watercolor and then she went in and did the details in colored pencils and i've seen that um, from her book and I'm not sure if this book is already out of print since I since I was supposed to do the review um, but if it's still available I'll give a link down in the description um, if it's not and it's only available internationally um, I'll still try to find some links to put down in the description for you guys so that if I'm um, if you guys are watching this uh, in the future you guys can still get a hold of the book and um, I know that this is the Frog Prince, but you know, a lot of these fairy tales, I must say, I, I don't know them, but some, some are fairly obvious and some not so much. And I do not think that there's a guide in the back that tells you, oh, I like this sweater. See, I like these. So like, I like this is, this is gonna be my more like easy coloring. I really, this really makes me wanna get my, my markers out and I don't really get them out that much, but I do store them sideways so that they don't go you know, so that they don't go flat. Um, but this book really makes me want to get my markers out for some reason. I think it's the thick, broad lines that make me want to get my markers out. Um, but there's a lot to like here, so. Alright, so this page is not upside down. Um, see, like some of these stories, I wish, like, she told you what the story was. <laughs> Um, which is weird because I feel like, you know, you're kind of expected to know the fairy tales, but I feel like sometimes I don't know all the stories. Um, or maybe it's not from a particular story, maybe it's just from a sort of a idea, but, but anyway, there you have it. And there's a lot of really sort of like whimsical cute details like this is just a fun cute book you know uh let's see here and there's a lot of there's a lot of coloring material too like i know some people really prefer single-sided pages and some people prefer double-sided pages this book is definitely one of those books that makes the case for single-sided books because there's so much content here um for double-sided books i'm sorry so if you like double-sided books there's a lot a lot of content here for you to see see i don't know what fairy tale that is i don't know if that is from a fairy tale i don't know which one this is and i and i don't want to make one up look at this peacock don't you want to just take markers to this and just be done with this in like an afternoon. Actually, that's my that's my impression of how long it takes to do markers. I I don't think I've ever finished a whole page in markers. I usually use markers as like an accent. So I don't know if I've finished a whole page in markers, but I feel like markers you're, you're in and out in a few minutes, and I, that's probably not the case. But that's my feeling with markers that like you're you know doesn't take you very long at all. So let's see here. A cute little dog. I'm not gonna lie, the cheeks are a little creepy. Just a little, like like 10% mm, creepy. Like not super creepy, but like 10% creepy. Just like a little creepy. Yeah, that's just like 5%, 10% creepy. Just like a little bit. Like just for me, but you know. Like it's not enough that it's a turn off for me, but you know, it might not be everybody's style. So, all right, got this here. Oh, this appears to be a crown. Sorry, I have insomnia, bad too. And my CPAP machine has not been working lately. Um, I swear my CPAP machine has been nothing but wrong. When it works, it's great, but it's been a lot of drama with my CPAP machine. Um, and it has not been working lately again. Here we go. And the final pages. And then she has this here. Hold on. Let me see if I show you. It's like a little cute fold out page right there. All right. So let me, you know what? This is a great page. Oh, sorry. This is a great page to test. This is, this is a watercolor pencil. Some 
so we're gonna work on a pencil and this is this is a bit of regular colored pencil just regular old polychromos so your polychromos go in nicely not too not too bad this is me basically and let's see here and All right, so my skills with markers on back rate. <laughs> but um, let's see first if the marker fades and then we are going to try. I mean, if the marker bleeds, I don't see it. No, you guys see it. I don't see it. Let's see. Nope, I don't see any bleeding on the marker, which is great. And uh, I'm going to get my water brush and see what we see with the water brush. Alright, this is some more water than I've used for some of the books for sure. Nope, I don't see any bleeding on the other side, so that's great. Could probably use more water. It's already dry, so you could definitely use more water than this if you wanted to use more water. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you especially to Laura for sending this out to me. And I cannot wait to get started on this. I got so many books to go through, <laughs> but, um, but it should be a lot of fun. All right, I will see you guys next time. And um, don't forget to show up to the live stream later today or tomorrow, depending on when I publish this video on um, Friday the 14th. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bella, would you like to tell the internet why my clothes are always covered in cat hair? Because I think I know why. I know why. Take your bad Bella. Oh, it's still bad though. <laughs>